my name is sumit and i have around 18 years of it industry experience i have vast experience on programming language because i started my career with programming language with uh, c sharp dotnet c++ java and python from them using python so we have performed a lot of integration perform a lot of integration with social networking websites as well like twitter linkedin facebook using python analyze the data clean the data and then upload the data back into uh, another data sets like uh, salesforce crm solutions or uploaded the data into sql server or uploaded the data into uh, or uh, or export the data into an excel form as required as per the client requirement so same kind of learning same kind of experience which i have gained i have decided to share with you guys and uh, so we will be going to work on almost all the concepts uh, all the data cleansing processes data manipulation data transformation steps using this training and also the data which we extracted from various data sources we will try to analyze the data try to plot the data into different charts into various charts and also apply some machine learning concepts on that data set so that we are that we will be going to discuss in later sessions so today topic is today's video or today's demo is basically just a demo it's a, just a demonstration and tell you tell you about the capabilities we have achieved and what exactly python is how python will be useful so basically data analysis if we talk, basically we you might have heard about data analysis so what exactly data analysis is what's the data what's the data life cycle what, and how can we achieve data analysis using pandas and so on so first of all let's talk about the content so that's the content for this tutorial that what exactly python is what's the data life cycle of a python how to get the data and all what is data analysis and we will also be going to see data analysis using pandas because pandas plays a very 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 important role in data analysis so first first of all what exactly data analysis is so data analysis is basically it's a primary component of data mining and business intelligence business intelligence basic basically bi and is key to gaining the insight that derives the business decision that helps in driving the business decision because uh, if we provide the raw data to any decision makers they won't be able to take any decisions on that so data analysis need to be done so being uh, being a data analyst with python the job role is to to get the data to transform the data in such a manner that the end users or the decision makers will be able to take decisions on top of that so in continuation of that basically in, in that so python is used for data analysis and why we use python for data analysis so basically first of all the very first thing is that python is very easy to learn with very few steps by writing very 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 few steps we can perform data analysis let's suppose if i have to read data from any data set so i can simply pass a command and read data from any csv file or from any excel file and then we can visualize it we can transform the data into data into data frame and we into into data frame and we can perform analysis on top of that so python has involved basic has evolved to be a great platform for data analysis and it has got uh, basically python has is a basically python has got lot of packages are there pre built packages in python community has provided lot of pre built packages which can be used to perform uh, various operations on the data and it is distinguished by its large and active scientific computing community as i was talking about the community self python has got the community which used to upload or publish the packages pre built packages which we can import by a simple passing commands which we can install the packages as required and and then we can use those packages uh, in our environment so for example let me show you one example that's my python environment and i would like to quickly 
print a message. Uh, let's try to uh, let's try to differentiate Python with other programming languages. Uh, if any one of you, those who are new to programming languages, so then it's fine. But those who have experience on other programming languages like Java or C sharp or any other languages, they might be knowing that even to simply type a message, simply display a single line of statement. We need to import some packages. We need to import some libraries, and then we, then only we can publish. Then only we can display the uh, display a string. But here I simply write a command call print, and I write welcome to BISP training. See, I'm not using any curly brackets, or I'm not importing any libraries and nothing. I simply pass a command, and I simply execute, and I got a message welcome to BISP training. So in a single line of statement, I simply got this. If I write 10 plus 20 and I execute this, I got the result as 30, which is not possible with other program. In other languages, in uh, in traditional programming languages, you can say in other programming languages, uh, we need to create variables, we need to declare variables, then store the values into those variables, and then perform operations. Whereas in Python, a single line of statement will work. So writing very less commands, writing very uh, by writing very few commands very few lines we can perform operations we can uh, we can perform operations and we can get the results so that's why i have mentioned here that python language is easy to fall in love with so those who are new to it those who uh, not it let's say those who are new to programming those who have vast experience on other technologies, but now they wanted to switch towards uh, towards programming language. So for them, Python is a very, very good language to be started with because with very writing, very few syntaxes, they can they can write a whole concept. And uh, Python improved library support pandas made it a strong tool for data manipulation. So whenever we talk about data manipulation or data analysis using Python, pandas plays a very important role into it. And so uh, pandas basically it's a library which helps to transform the data into relational data into relational model like in the form of rows and column. And as you know that if any data in the form of rows and columns, it's easy to manipulate it, easy to perform, it's easy to apply operations on top of that. So it so pandas plays a very important role, and this makes Python uh, this makes Python is strong uh, for data analysis or for data manipulation operations. So that's why Python is a great language for doing data analysis. And uh, because primarily because of its fantastic ecosystem of data centric Python packages and uh, <coughs> and Python is one of those packages and makes importing and analyzing data much easier and much faster. Number one, most important tool for data science high performance data structure and data analysis tool and this takes a whole load of complexity out of loading tabular data into python for data analysis and uh, like especially if we would be load if we would be extracting data from a csv file from an excel file from sql database so data stored into python in a list form either on a list form or either in a tuple form and then we transform that we transform those data we convert those data into pandas so we have certain data types in python like we have numbers string list tuple and dictionaries so the data can be extracted from data sources and stored into these any of the data sets any of these data types sorry and then from here we can transform that data into pandas for further data analysis or data manipulation because uh, pandas helps us to load the data uh, to label the data nicely with some with proper column headings and proper indexes which is easy for anyone to uh, write command we'll be going to see that in later in later slides we'll be going to see the we'll talk about pandas and i'll show you a couple of examples of uh, dictionaries and how to transform that dictionary how to read data from a csv and how to transform that csv data into pandas we'll be going to see that in later slides 
now let's talk about the life cycle data life cycle because uh, data life cycle also plays a very important role so data life cycle is nothing that we would be extracting data from desperate data sources like any ERP solution CRM solutions social media like Twitter LinkedIn you, know, you might uh, you might have seen couple of my videos in where I have extracted data from my social media social media uh, portals like LinkedIn Twitter recently I have post we have posted a case study where we have extracted data from Twitter and uh, and export the data into uh, and then we exported that we store the data into MongoDB data set from there we exported the data into JSON and finally from JSON we read we read the JSON file and uh, we we present the data in the form of clustering we apply clustering onto it so machine learning concept we have applied on that Twitter data so same kind of same kind of functionality we can perform with uh, same kind of functionality we can perform with uh, Facebook data and so on XML if your data is in XML form we can if we can ex we can read that XML data and transform and store the data into warehouse so basically your data is coming from any data sources that doesn't matter Python is capable to import the data to extract the data from desperate data sources and store them into a data warehouse from data warehouse we perform data analysis and present the data in the form and use data visualization tool. There's a data visualization tool available with Python matplotlib and we use that data visualization package to convert to transform the data into or to present the data into a graphical manner in the form of pictures. So that's a data life cycle because until and unless the data is not extracted uh, because uh, if we talk about the live connectivity with data sets so network connection is play, network connection plays a very important role. So what we can do is we can use the API's we can use the uh, we can use the uh, APIs to export to extract the data from data sources and capture that and store the data into data warehouses data warehouses like we can uh, export the data from social media and uh, store the data into MongoDB or in SQL server or maybe we have we have uh, we have stored them into an Excel file or in a CSV file and then from there we would be we would be uh, reading those CSV files for for the data analysis and data analysis and data visualization process. So when we talk about Python for data analysis, there are pre-built packages which can be used for uh, basically which can be used for data visualization and data analysis. So basically Python, as I mentioned that Python has evolved to be a great platform for data analysis and uh, there is a whole package, there is a whole stack of packages which together provides a comprehensive toolkit for most kind of data analysis and uh, the real power of Python for data analysis comes when we move up a row so there are certain packages like numpy scipy matplotlib Jupyter this Jupyter is used to uh, this Jupyter is used to basically it is used to uh, get the online package online interface for Python to work on Python to work with Python so as you can see that's a Jupyter so that's so at present this is stored on my local machine but uh, just in case if it has been stored in your uh, some distributed network or some remote machine so using their IP address using the uh, using the web URL or IP address we can connect it so we can execute the Jupyter from there as well. We need to provide the proper URL for that. So that's a Jupyter. Then we have matplotlib. Matplotlib is used for pack, uh, is used to pre present the data in a graphical manner in the form of charts, in the form of graphs. Then we have skitlearn. If any one of you are interested in applying machine learning concepts and uh, they wanted to use the pre-built data packages then we can go for skitlearn then we have seaborn seaborn also provides basically seaborn also provides a functionality it's, it is somehow equivalent to matplotlib 
where we have some pre-built data sets uh, pre-built data sets we can use uh, or we can use our own data sets to replace the data or to uh, to present the data in a graphical manner then pandas x array skit images it's an image processing in python so those who are interested in processing the image those who are interested in applying some uh, image process to to create some image processing applications so for that we can use skit image so there uh, again in skit images uh, in the skit images packages there are pre-built functions and classes which helps us to uh, analyze the image for example we have a lot of applications are going on where we can use our thumb impression to uh, unlock the phone okay so definitely whenever we applied any thumb impression lock so the whole analysis need to be done that image will store into data set in the form of some numbers in the form of some different form. definitely the image will uh, the data will not be going to store in that data set in the form of image it would be in blob data set in the form of blob form so skip image helps us to convert that uh, image or to transform that image into uh, okay transform that image into uh, some other data form and then finally when we are reading back into it so we can do that we can we can get it from there so there are pre-built packages pre-built libraries which we need to import while working on python while operating on python we would be going to talk about it we would be going to so in our regular sessions we will be going to work on numpy scipy skit learn skit images seaborn pandas matplotlib jupyter now uh, what exactly pandas is first of all panda and why panda is getting so popular so first of all panda is an open source python library providing high performance data manipulation and analysis tool using its powerful data structure and uh, python is basically built on numpy scipy and matplotlib into packages so what exactly numpy basically python is derived and python is derived from the world panel data and econometric from multi-dimensional data and uh, as i mentioned that python is built on the packages like numpy scipy and matplotlib so what exactly these three packages does so numpy it provides n dimensional numerical arrays when we have to work on arrays when we want to uh, create an array for our data set so for that we use numpy and it's an uh, it's an n dimensional uh, numerical arrays linker al li linear algebra fourier transform then we have scipy scipy basically it built closely on numpy and it provides more advanced numerical methods integration ordinary differential equations and so on and uh, when we talk about some uh, whenever we talk about some mathematical operations or when we talk about some uh, scientific operations so for them we use in that case we would be using scipy and matplotlib this is the python's main graphing plotting library and it helps or it is used to make the pretty plots and the doc and uh, the gallery or we can pre we can create bar charts we can plot bar charts line charts or pie charts or multi-dimensional charts using matplotlib package now what are the key features of pandas when we talk about the key features of pandas so these are the key features for pandas because we are talking about data analysis so and as i mentioned that in data analysis pandas plays a very important role so we would be emphasizing more on pandas and uh, what are the key features so these are the key features of pandas it is fast and efficient it helps us to 
merge and joining of two or more data sets into a single data set it helps us in column customization it helps us to apply the time series functionality like time dimensional data we have and we want to plot that time dimensional data using line chart or we want to apply we want to perform some data forecasting so data forecasting will be only possible once we have time series data so to plot the time series data in a proper manner in the proper chart uh, pandas will be very helpful and it also helps in slicing and subsetting the large data set it also helps in uh, slicing and subset setting the large data set slicing basically we have huge data set we have large data set and we want to cut short the data we want to slice the data we we we, we require couple of columns so we can slice the data we can subset the data we can subset in by using rows we can operate we can apply some rows operation on top on that data set grouping of data can be performed reshaping and pivoting of data sets and capable of handle the missing data uh, many times it happens when we load the data from data sources if some of the fields are, some of the values are not there some of the records in terms of we have uh, some of the values missing so we can convert that raw data we can convert that data into uh, we can we can fill that data using some with using some null values or with some default values using pandas so these operations we can perform using panda so these are the key features of pandas now let's take an example let me show you the recent functionality we have recent task i have achieved and we have achieved for in bisp and let me show you that so recently we have created an application where we would be reading we would be uh, getting the forecast data from uh, AccuWeather website. You might have heard about AccuWeather, and we have create we have created an application, created an uh, we have created a pro, uh, we have write a code to get the data from uh, AccuWeather for uh, next five days for a specific location. So at present, let me show you that. So, for example, if my requirement is that I would like to see the next five days forecasted data for Delhi region for Delhi, so I simply execute it, and when I execute it, I ask for the city name, and background functionality will be going on when we type the city name. First of all, it automatically extract the location of it. Location key is mandatory. As you can see, it extracted the location key. And based on that location key, it find out the it extracted the data. Uh, basically, it extracted the data uh, from AccuWeather website for next five days forecasting forecasted data. And then we can use this forecasted data uh, because that this data is in JSON format. So we are finishing 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 it up. And uh, once we get the forecasted data, we can present that data in a specific form so you can see at present uh, right now you see that it's it's get we are getting the forecasted data for next five days from from two to six current date including next four days and the data the response we are getting the response is in json form and then we have created in this program we would be reading the json file and extracted the data so weather forecast for this weather forecast for this that so we need to display the temperature for the specific dates so let me show you this what we have done and this is we have extracted when we execute the program when we execute the code we got the result in json and now we read that json file copy this and paste it in json so in notepad plus plus that's a weather json actually so let me paste it in a new file paste it plug in json format and you see it's a daily forecasting daily forecasting for current date for date and we have all the data like when the sun will rise when the, when the sun will set when the moon will rise when the moon will set this is for what's the minimum temperature 
what's the minimum temperature for this particular date what's the maximum what's the real feel real field uh, okay our sun air and pollution what's the uh, means what's the data then this is for the next day this is for next day and uh, yeah that's for next day and same all the yeah all the dictionaries within basically it's a dictionary the data is extracted in the form of a dictionary so it's a dictionary and in course it creates that it, it extract the data set so we have the data for next five days let me just collapse it so that i can demonstrate it you easily so that is for second seven sorry and we have data for next five days so we have extracted this data from AccuWeather by integrating it using api so we've done this by using API functionality. So we have integrated it with our AccuWeather web using its API. So we need to register on AccuWeather and then we can get it. So this is how we can read the data. This is how we extracted the data from AccuWeather. We, this is coming from AccuWeather. That's the mobile link. That's the link, daily forecast, daily weather forecast. And once we get the data, once we get the data, we can export the data now if you want we can export this json file in we can export this json file and save this json file on our desktop and then we can uh, we can use the json to be visualized in tableau or in any other visualization tool in python or uh, in other visual or we can use it for we can store it for later later use so that's how we write a code in Python for data and visualization and at present it's we are not visualizing it right now because we are It's not completed right now. We are going to we are now finally we later on We are going to plot this in the form of a bar or in the form of a line chart Okay, and based on that we can apply a forecasting uh, We can apply for we can do forecasting by analyzing the previous data previous records so that comes under machine learning concepts. This is one example. There is one more example where we have performed clustering from Twitter. So that's a that's code for that. And here we have extracted data from a JSON file. So first of all, we extracted data from we store we store the data from Twitter and captured into JSON. And then we are reading JSON file and plotting the data based on the follower counts and friend counts. And we we divide that into four clusters so that's the clustering so let's have a look so that's my data where we would be reading the json and while we plot this well while we execute it it will read that it will look for this json file it read that json file and plot that json file uh, data records from json file in the into clusters See, this is in clusters in four clusters so it automatically divides the data into four cluster based on the uh, distance between two uh, two two nodes, two values. So now to talk about simple pandas functionality in simple pandas. Uh, let's suppose I have we uh, let's suppose I have created a dictionary, and uh, or if I'm creating an array and we want to plot that we we have created a file we are if i want to read data if you want to read any csv file and expo and store them into uh, pandas so how to do that so that's quite simple let's create a new one and uh, the the csv file which i would be going to read is sales data set of let's say i would like to read the sales data set that's my sales data set that's a csv file and i would like to read this sales data set here we have around 21 columns 21 columns and around 8000 records 8400 record i want to read this file into python so it's quite simple uh, first of all i write a command import pandas as pd and i write data one is equal to read dot cs read dot csv and the the complete location of that file complete location of that file. C drive users desktop and sales data set dot csv and sales data set dot csv
just a second guys my python got stuck i need to restart it Let me restart this machine very quickly. Stating not got stuck because the, exi the existing process was going on. So just wait for one second. Yeah, guys, sorry, got stuck. So what I would be doing this I would be uh, changing this to. Uh, let me change this quickly because otherwise, see, there are two things. Either we import the package. We import. We need to import the read CSV package, or we can use uh, simple. I want to convert this. I want to store this into Panda. So write pd dot read underscore CSV. Pd dot read underscore CSV, and let's test it. Or if you want to simple, uh, if you want, if you want to simple read it from using CSV, so we need to import a CSV package first, and then we can use CSV dot reader. So two things: either we can import directly, we can imp we can directly use PD to read CSV file, or we can use CSV reader. We can use CSV reader to read that file. So both are fine. So I'll use both of them one by one and we'll see the result. So what I did, I just comment the first line where we would be using pandas to read CSV. So I just put it as a comment and reading the using CSV reader. And when I execute this, the execution is done successfully. The it's it's added successfully, and now we can print. I can simple print CR CSV reader, and let's have a look the res, the response. So it's it's showing that the the data has been readed successfully. I mean the the data is read success, and now we can uh, we can write we can run a loop. We can create a loop to display the results. So I simple write. A simple write for row in CSV and print dot join row. So this is like users, BISP, desktop. So this is while we are re this one while we are reading it, and uh, so we can read CSV file. Now let me try to read this data using pandas directly. So let's try to read this directly with pandas, and uh, we'll operate we'll apply operation on top of that. So 
let me change the file name and because there is my c drive is logged i won't be able to read my c drive so let me read it from the location let me read the So there is some issue with my sales data set. I am not able to read it. I am using another data set. What I did, I just changed the data and I am using financial data set. That's my financial data set on my D drive. And uh, because I am not able to read that, so that's a financial data. And this financial data around, there are around 925 records are there and 23 columns are there. So I want to read this data set. And to read this data set, I simply pass a command to read this data set and a simple pass data pd dot read csv d financial data dot csv and when we read it the, it there is no error it means the data has been the data is has been captured and stored into data and a simple write print data and we run it so we will it will print the data for us region net income we scroll down and the total 23 columns have been extracted successfully and because there are 23 columns so it's showing only few columns and if you want to slice the data, I'm interested only in uh, I'm interested only in, let's say, revenue region and revenue. So we can ex we can uh, slice it by getting region. So it only prints region for me and also I want revenue so we can. So we can simple slice it by using region and revenue. So slicing can be done. We can get region and revenue and uh, and also if you want to perform some aggregations on region and if you want to apply some aggregations on top of that so that can be done fine so aggregations can be done by using uh, aggregations can be done by using lambda expressions we can use lambda expression for applying region if you want to apply grouping data grouping can be done so we can get operations for example i'm getting data so i'll just write i just write here r1 is equal to data one dot region and i want revenue so let's say region one and we want revenue one so i just write here revenue one is equal to data revenue and finally we can apply some operations on top of that or we can print we can show them together so we can we can display them together region one comma revenue one and uh, if you want to add some operations on that we can apply the operations so at present because i'm displaying it so we have region and revenue that's the region and revenue and if you want to show them together so we can concatenate them so we have options for concatenating them We can we can perform operations for concatenating. In same manner, in Python we have Python dictionaries. Let me show you one example for Python dictionaries. That's a Python dictionary I have created. Uh, in 
if you can see my screen you guys can see the, that's a python dictionary python dictionary is also plays a very important role in python and in python dictionary we can store the data we can capture the data in the form of key and value pair so we have key name is key value is sam name is city value is mumbai name is salary so name and key and value so key is salary value is this key is department id value is four and uh, we can and so what i have done so i and also this is one dictionary we can create multiple dictionaries into one another dictionary like what we are doing here so same thing we are doing here this is a dictionary and this is another dictionary within this daily forecast so same thing we are applying here same thing we are doing so this is a dictionary within a dictionary so we have two dictionaries within stood dictionary like this and then we can we i imported pandas as pd we execute the operation and when we so you by default when we display the dictionary it display in this form stood one that's the record stood two that's the record so it's a simple dictionary format but we can take help of pandas to convert that dictionary into a uh, rows and column format stood one is to two or we can use transport method to show the values in a proper form so what we that what we have done here as well like here we i have i have captured df1 df dot transpose and we got the values name as salary stood one that's the record for stood one that's the record for stood two so that's how we can perform uh, operations using panda so there are a lot of operations we are going to perform so we can you we can use pandas to clear null values we can use pandas to slice the column we can use pandas to uh, remove some columns or add a new column or column customization so all those transformations we would be going to see in our regular sessions where would when we would be going to start our uh, regular session so we'll be going to talk about all of all these things in uh, our regular session up so that's all from my side in today's session. So if you have some queries, you can come up with your questions one by one. And uh, I'm going to unmute all of you now. So those who have questions, so they can come up with their question. Else, please put yourself on mute so that we can listen others.